to another session on the classification of pilum mollusca. In this uh, presentation, we will be looking into in detail the characteristics of class Cephalopoda and an example under that. Class Cephalopoda. Cephalopoda, the word means the cephalo, which refer to the head, and podos, which referring to the foot. Right. Uh, cephalopods are considered to be the most highly organized mollusks or we can say the most complex uh, mollusks and perhaps they are the largest of all the invertebrates. They include one, uh, one among the largest invertebrates uh, we have uh, so far discovered. They include uh, squids, cuttlefishes, uh, octopuses and nautiluses. Here you can see this is a nautilus. Uh, cephalopods usually they may or may not have a shell. Shell may be absent or reduced or uh, uh, it may be you know, internal or external. Okay. You can see here this is a nautilus which is having an external shell. On the other hand, octopuses, the shell is totally absent. And in the case of squids, the shell is present but it is internal. And uh, so it is not visible from outside. Right. Now, cephalopods, they are bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, mollusks with distinct head, uh, highly developed eyes. You can see yeah, they have very well developed eyes present and a crown of circumoral arms. These structures, the circumoral arms, you can see this uh, uh, play, the arms are placed around the um, mouth. That's why it is known as a referee, referred as circumoral arms. Then closed type of circulatory system and the highly organized nervous system and sense organs. Uh, they are exclusively marine, mostly pelagic, and uh, exceptionally fast moving or swift moving predatory carnivores. You can see squids and octopuses, they are fast moving uh, carnivores, uh, but normally we can see that octopuses they usually move very slowly uh, on the substratum. When needed, then they are fast movers. Okay. Now, regarding the characteristic features, as already mentioned, they are bilaterally they have a bilaterally symmetrical body with distinct and highly organized head and um, eyes. Now, anterior part of the foot. Okay. Now, coming to the foot, uh, the anterior part of the foot is modified uh, into a crown of prehensile circumoral arms prehensile in the sense the ones which can be used for holding on to something okay just like the like uh, hands or like a tail in the case of monkeys prehensile okay even in the case of seahorses the prehensile tail can be found. right coming back to the uh, the anterior part is modified into a crown of circumoral um, what you call arms while the posterior part of the foot it is uh, modified into a funnel or which we call as a siphon. Okay, so here you can see the foot, it is, it is modified into two structures. One is the arms and the other is a siphon which is ventrally placed. Okay, so uh, the foot it is modified into a series of prehensile uh, circumoral arms or what we refer as a tentacles and the ventrally it is modified to form the posterior part of the uh, what you call food, it is uh, modified into siphon, exhalant siphon or funnel or the ventral side. Okay. Now, the mantle when we speak, it is um, thick, muscular and leathery and it forms a protective covering. Uh, we already spoke about the shell and uh, regarding the, uh, another very important feature is the presence of the ink gland. Okay. The ink gland, it is used to secrete a melanin containing dark colored ink. It, it is released into the surrounding uh, environment and it discolors the surrounding environment and uh, during which the um, animal escapes from the enemies. Okay, so it is actually a protective shield. Now, the cartilaginous endoskeleton, okay, to support uh, the presence of a cartilaginous endoskeleton. It's for supporting and strengthening the body and also to enclose and protect the nerve ganglion and eyes. Uh, then regarding the oral apparatus, mouth pusses, radula and jaws, uh, horny jaws are there, a pair of poison glands which are modified salivary 
uh, glands are present in uh, some cephalopods. As already mentioned, the, uh, the blood vascular system it is closed type, extensive blood vessels, a three chambered medium heart, and accessory branchial uh, hearts. Then, nervous system it is highly organized, well developed eyes, high degree of intelligence, and great learning powers. Okay. You may find many videos which uh, shows how the octopuses use coconut shells as protective covering and how they uh, use various techniques to uh, uh, that exhibit their high uh, what you call it, intelligence. Okay, then sexes are separate and uh, males have a characteristic copulatory organ. That is, uh, in them what happens is uh, they have a structure, a copulatory or intermittent structure which is spoon shaped tip of the oral arm. Uh, you can see here that uh, in the case of squids and all, we can see they have the uh, tentacles, and one among them is large, and they these um, actually have the anterior most part being modified to form a spoon shaped tip. Okay, and this is what is referred as a spadix or hectocotylus. You can see here hectocotylus, and this is used for transferring the spermatozoos into the mantle cavity of the female. Okay, and the development of this direct without any larval stages. Uh, another important feature which you can see in many of the cephalopods is the uh, ability to change the color. Okay, the unusual power of color changing. Uh, it is uh, found it may be as a protective adaptation. Okay, just like camouflage. Another important feature is the use of water jet propulsion for speedy movement. Uh, water jets are produced by the powerful expulsion of water through the excellent siphon. As already mentioned, they have an excellent siphon. So water is let out powerfully through this excellent siphon and the animal is uh, moves in opposite direction with the help of this water jet propulsion. So that is used by uh, like many of the squids, octopuses, etc. etc. Okay. So this is uh, about the general features of the cephalopod. Regarding sepia, sepia, sepia it is um, uh, normally known as cuttlefish. It is a marine mollusk, and here the shell is completely internal, and the body is co uh, covered by mantle. Extra since external shell is absent, it is uh, covered and protected by a mantle. The shells of the dead sepia it is known as a cuttle bones. And these are used uh, as uh, for polishing glasses and all. Okay. The body is divided into two parts: the head region and the trunk. Okay. Uh, this is the trunk region. It is labor. Uh, it is known as the visceral hump. Okay. A distinct foot is absent as uh, the foot is modified to form the arms and the uh, what you call the excellent side. Right. Now, in the case of head, it is uh, it bears a terminal mouth and a pair of lateral eyes. You can see and a and five pairs of uh, circumoral arms. The arms are modified parts of the foot, as already mentioned, and they are provided with suckers. Okay, these structures are known as a suckers uh, found in, in, uh, on the along the internal lining of the arms. Fine. All arms except the fourth pair. This is the fourth pair. Okay, are short and they are uh, provided with longitudinal rows of suckers along the inner surfaces. Okay, all the four pairs. The uh, fourth pair, um, it is long and slender with suckers only at the tip. Okay, it doesn't have any suckers along the length uh, except for the uh, the tip, okay, the terminal portion. And this uh, arm, it is known as tentacular arm. Okay, these are not, the other smaller ones are known as oral arms, and the longer one is known as a tentacular arm. In the case of males, the left tentacular arm has a spoon shaped. Hectocotylus or the spadix, as already mentioned, it acts as a intromittent organ for transferring sperms to female during the mating time. Okay, and this modification of the uh, left tentacular arm it is known as hectocotylization, and this modified arm is known as hectocotylized arm. Right now, regarding the trunk, if you see, the trunk is covered by a thick leathery mantle. And the mantle along the lateral uh, margin, it is used into frilly like lateral folds. And this is known as the lateral fin, which is used for swimming. Okay, mantle cavity, it communicates with the outside through a ventral uh, siphon. Okay, you can see here the siphon. It is